Um, and one of the things that people did say is they caught the hope and the resilience because the book didn't end with a step. It, you know, you moved, the character moved on and bought a house and life goes on. So the resilience absolutely did come through. Um, Yoli's quote, quote in the novel, she wanted to die and I wanted her to live. And we were enemies who loved each other. And you touched on this a bit. For many of us, this is the central conflict of the book. It forces us to examine what would you do for the person you most love. Um, Yoli struggles. How does a person resign themselves to accepting another's choice? Is there an element of a discussion about selflessness? Yeah, uh, uh, absolutely. I mean, mm, you know, one one of my my well, my biggest my my biggest regret is that I did not help my sister to die. It was clear. It was very very clear. She was she was lucid. She was sane. She was, she she had decided this is what she wanted. She had suffered and suffered and suffered. At one point, I had said to her, "Okay, now now you now you have to fight." And and uh, and she looked at me and she said, "Miriam, I've, I've been fighting for forty years," and and. Um, and still, I, it was it was an impossible decision for me to make. It was just untenable. I couldn't. I I knew that I should help her. Um, if there, she 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 died um, violently and alone. And if there was an alternative to that, I should have uh, helped helped make that possible. Um, so uh, it's a. I've I've been talking about this book for so for for a year and a half now since it came out and all, all over the place and so many people have talked to me about their own experiences. A lot of people have have taken their loved ones um, to, to to clinics in Switzerland, for instance, you know, or haven't and have wished that they did. Or you know, it's such a complex issue, and um, I think it's pretty clear from 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 my writing and the way that I've been talking over the last year and a half that I feel that that option should be made available to people who who want it. Um, again, I understand and appreciate the resistance to it. Um, it's, it's a com complex issue, um, but, but, but I feel that it has to do with uh, compassion, and, um, and, that, and, that, and that we, as Canadians, and it's true, um, from surveys and polls, that we're ready to have that conversation, to think about uh, what, 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 we're, what we're entitled to in terms of uh, control of our own, our own lives and our own uh, Oh. Um, very timely subject matters in this book, of course, depression, mental health, and assisted suicide. And by timely, I mean mostly that for the first time, these are more openly discussed. They've always been timely issues, not always discussed. One of the reasons we selected this title as our one book, even knowing it would be difficult, is because we believe in the power of literature to promote discussion. Um, do you have thoughts on that? Um, I, I agree with you. I think that um, certainly, um, I, and I know, for, you know, from, from some of my own experiences, this, this book is just one small little imperfect offering, <laughs> and if it generates uh, any sort of discussion, conversation that, um, that 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 sort of advances us as a as a as, as a civilized society, um, then then I'll feel that that it's been useful. Um, and again, it's just one small part of the uh, piece of, of the puzzle. Um, yeah, definitely. Literature, for sure. I mean, art, you know, movies, um, books. Uh, it's theater. Um, you know, it, when we see our, our, our own reality reflected back to us in ways that make us think, in ways that move us, I mean, you know, change automatically comes from, from, from that. And, and so I, I absolutely believe in uh, on that note, because we did have so much of um, my cousin, my brother, my best friend's husband, my, my, my. Um, are you aware, I don't know if this is a fair question, but how inspirational the character of Yoli is to readers who are faced with seemingly insurmountable dealings uh, with loss and grief because the character did help people to see that they, too, could um, survive. Well, that's good to hear. It's a, it's a, again, you know, when you, you go back to, I'll go back to my uh, room, my little room, and, and, and start writing again soon, and, and uh, it's good to remember that. 
Okay. Very true. We, and we got a lot of feedback on that. Um, what discussions need to take place about the treatment of mentally ill patients in Canada? About the right to choose death? What thoughts do you want to share with us based on your personal experiences? What should we be talking about? Oh, well, um, I guess what, what, I, what I have said often and what I feel is necessary to say is that, you know, um, because I believe in um, this, the Supreme Court um, o overruled the ban on assisted dying, on, a, on physician assisted dying, and, uh, and it was a unanimous decision. And, and, um, and like I said, from, you know, Canadians talking in polls and surveys, most Canadians feel, feel that that's, uh, that that was the right decision. The Harper government doesn't agree with that. And they've been given a year, the provinces and, and, and the federal government have been given a year to implement this, this decision. And so we'll see what, what people do, what people do with it. A lot of people want to just sort of push, push it aside. I understand that too. Uh, but, but, and so that, that is something that I believe should be, should, should be in place. But, but that doesn't mean that I don't think that there, there, there needs to be so much, um, the, the mental health care system is broken. It, it's um, it's 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 a very, it's nasty waters to, to navigate um, for anybody, and I'm sure there are lots of people in this room who have suffered, and who have loved ones and friends and family who have suffered from mental illness, and um, and the system the system it, it's it's treacherous and 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 broken, like I say, and and we need we need funding, we need um, education, we need uh, to talk about it, we need research, we need. Um, sh shifts in attitude so much in palliative care too just because I feel that um, a choice should be made that we should be able to choose our own death um, if, if we're competent to and, um, and that, that, sh that it should be facilitated um, I still believe that uh, lots and lots and lots of people wouldn't choose that and I respect that deci decision of course and, and so palliative care has to be improved as well I mean, you know we need to take better care uh, of, of of vulnerable people. That's that's the mark of civilization. Um, we need to take care, care of vulnerable people. And, and, and people who are mentally ill, people who are dying, are, are very vulnerable people. Um, my all-time favorite line in the book, and I get to do